Hiya! Today in my Suffolk series I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite words and I will admit that it wasn't until I started doing this series that I realised just how unusual my Suffolk language and dialect is. I think over the years I've just taken it for granted and this is just how I talk but it's not until I've really thought about the things that I say on a daily basis that I realise just how unusual it is. But my favourite word, or one of my favourite words, that I'm going to discuss with you today is the word Hobney Dot. And it's something which my family say often and I have heard other people say. And Hobney Dot, strangely for us Suffolkans, yet again we have elongated a word to make this one rather unusual sound and word and it originally comes from the word dodman which is a Suffolk term for a snail as in you know little snails that creep about in your garden um, and like to chew your plants that kind of thing hedgehogs like to eat them that kind of stuff um, yes our Suffolk term for a snail is the word dodman and for some reason that then turned into hobbly dots so hobbly dots actually means snail in Suffolk and sometimes it's pronounced hod me dots and sometimes it's hod me dots so it can be said with a me or a ma you know. and the funny thing is with the word hobbly dot it has then gone off into a completely different usage of language altogether so where it used to just mean snail and we're talking a very long while ago here, here in deepest, darkest Suffolk. Um, it has now turned into a word for example, like little bits and pieces. Um, if you were searching around in a drawer for something and you've got all your bits and pieces in there, you'd be searching for your hobbling dots. Or if you were in the shed and you were sorting for something, looking for, I don't know, maybe a little packet of nuts and bolts or something I don't know whatever it is you'd be looking for your hobby dolls looking for it so it's gone from originally being the short well the shortest word for it is the ordinary word which is snail which then at some point became dodman then turned into hobby dots which still means snail at that point but now when it gets used it also gets used for little bits and pieces so if you're ever rifling around looking for something or if you're doing something with little bits and pieces then yeah they're hobbly dots so now you know if you ever hear that strange word <laughs> exactly what it means and i shall finish here for today thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon and bye for now